get off the right wheel. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Senior Vice President Ricardo Suber, and I'm here basically to break down some good information that will aid you in assisting you in terms of explaining the business um, and also seeing if it might be a good fit for you. Um, so before I begin, this particular video is brought to you by successwithsuber.com, getofftherightwheel.com, and 12keys to svp.com. All right, so this particular video, and I'm gonna be using my notes over here, is actually on how our business, with respect to five links and network marketing in general, how this business is actually similar to a franchise. So of course, we're all familiar with franchises. I mean, who doesn't know about McDonald's, Burger King, Holiday Inn, um, Quiznos, Subway? These are franchises. And in case you're very new to that term and what exactly it means, all a franchise is, is a business or a system that you can buy into where you can actually own your piece and you actually get to um, reap profits based on the revenue generated by your particular piece. So for instance, if you bought your own McDonald's um, restaurant, you would actually pay a franchising fee to the franchisor and you would get your very own location. All right, the thing is what keeps a lot of people from doing that even though Nobody can argue about the profitability of McDonald's. It can be quite expensive. Um, we're talking, you know, at least a million dollars liquid capital that you'll need to launch a business like that. Um, and as a matter of fact, within our business, um, some very close mentors of mine, one who had passed away was a husband and wife couple who actually controlled one of the most successful restaurant franchises in their space in New York City. And they actually also elected to start a five links business. And this is where I learned a lot of this information. And so I'm actually gonna break down exactly how and why Five Links is actually called a home-based franchise or a micro franchise. So I'm gonna talk about some similarities and I'm gonna talk about some differences. So first off, um, both Five Links and also a traditional franchise, both actually allow you to buy into a successful system. So just like McDonald's has their own system, so for instance, you can go to any McDonald's, I don't care if it's in Phoenix, Arizona, Boston, Massachusetts, or even overseas. Typically you have the same setup. Typically you have the stainless steel counter. Typically you have the fries on the left-hand side along with the drive-thru. Maybe a little bit off to the right, you'll see the milkshake machine. Um, and usually the person who is greeting you is maybe 16 to 18 year olds and they're saying, um, you know, welcome to McDonald's, how may I help you? And they always ask if you want fries with that. And that's because they're all taught a system. As a matter of fact, if you were to buy your own McDonald's, um, you would be sent to a place called Hamburg University, where you're there to learn the ins and outs of operating your own independent franchise. And it's very similar. No matter what sort of franchise system you buy into or you invest in, you're trained to do things a certain way. And the reason why they have it that way is because it's their system of success. Well, within five links, it's the same thing. Everybody invests the same amount of money to get their own license. The thing is, um, when you do have that license, you're actually taught a successful system. And as long as you follow the system, you have a certain degree of probability of achieving success, no different than if you were to buy into a traditional franchise. All right? now. Another similarity between Five Links and a traditional franchise is that they both give you support. So for instance, if you were, again, McDonald's, IHOP, Subway, you have a certain support community and people that you can typically lean on to help you build that business. It's the same with Five Links. We have training events, we have regional trainings, we have um, conferences three times a year that actually give us the skills to build upon our businesses um, along with, of course, a home office, a corporate office, and a certain infrastructure. All right, same thing with a traditional franchise. Also, what's another obvious similarity? Well, with a franchise like McDonald's or IHOP, etc., they actually give you products, all right? Obviously, their products are food. So no matter which McDonald's you go to, you always know there's a Big Mac, there's a Quarter Pounder, there's shakes. At IHOP, you, are, you already know there's a Rudy Tootie Fresh and Fruity wherever you go. Within Five Links, it doesn't matter which distributor you go to, we all market the same products and services. And that's because 
we don't have to figure out if the product is going to make you sick sick all of that product testing has been done you know we don't have to figure out whether it works or how it works or where to get the equipment we don't even need to figure out um, shipment fulfilling and things like that all of that is handled out of the home office and it's the same if you were to buy into a traditional franchise and also both systems discourage you from reinventing the wheel they don't want you going out and coming out with your own Kevin Mac or your own John Mac or your own Ashley Mac they have the Big Mac okay and within five links we have this thing that we like to say we have some people who get started and they want to do it their own way we call that doing my links or doing it I links instead of doing it five links you need to follow the system if you want to have a chance of success and so the thing is when you do it your own way when you think you know better than the person who introduced you especially if that person's had a certain degree of success if you think you're gonna do it better than them chances are you're not you're setting yourself up for failure and that's one of the main reasons that I personally in the past six years of doing this business one of the reasons why I've seen a lot of people fall by the wayside because they try to reinvent the wheel. Um, so that being one said, of the main guys. differences between Five Links and a real franchise or a traditional franchise is the fact that a business like Five Links is literally pennies on the dollar compared to what you would pay to start a traditional franchise. So for instance, a Subway or a Quiznos you'll need at least about $100,000 to launch your own franchise just for the license, all right? When it comes to an IHOP, you're gonna need one to $2 million, same for McDonald's. With five links and literally any network marketing company, you're talking literally about, you know, a couple of hundred dollars to $500 to fully launch your business. So hopefully this, is, this has been helpful. This is a longer video than I wanted to make, but I really wanted to give you an in-depth um, comparison between a traditional franchise and a home-based franchise like Five Links. That being said, guys, this has been brought to you by successwithsuper.com, getofftheratwheel.com, and 12keystosvp.com, and stay Five Links strong. Take care, guys.